Forward by Selena Gomez. I am so proud of Raquel and Tanya for writing this book. Raquel is like my sister and has been one of my closest friends for over a decade now. I can't think of a single word that would describe her better than bright. When it comes to light, optimism, and appreciating all that is good in our lives, there is no one better to have by your side than Raquel. She is the person you call when you are worried, hurt, or scared. She is the one you call when something has fallen apart entirely and you can't seem to pick yourself back up. She is always right there to offer hope and perspective. She will hand you a little joy, happily. This joy is not flimsy. It is not an empty optimism that promises everything will become better right away, but an optimism which is grounded in truth. Raquel has personally helped me through some of my own hardest times. When it comes to a partner for this book, I cannot think of a better person than Tanya. She is another friend who continues to fight for the good and believe for better times ahead. Both Raquel and Tanya are a gift to those that know them. They are a gift to this city that we call home, and I think these words they have chosen to share will be a gift to you. It is so easy to look out at the world around us and get discouraged. So many things feel broken. So many things feel beyond repair. And yet, there is still the choice to show up and believe that things could be a little bit better tomorrow. Raquel and Tanya are people who are committed to this. While life is both good and hard, they choose hope. They choose trust. They choose grace and forgiveness and showing up for people in a way that makes a difference. This is so much of what it looks like to live a life that is bright. We can walk through these days choosing to give more than we take. We can look for ways to listen and love and care. We can choose to show up and serve long after it feels easy. We can choose to let the challenging things stretch us into who we want to become And we can choose gratitude for every single good thing that we are given. I have watched Raquel and Tanya live every bit of this out. They are strong and resilient and lighthearted through every season. I hope that the words of this book bring you comfort and perspective. I hope they leave you encouraged. And I hope they leave you feeling a little less alone. Because the truth is that every last one of us needs to be picked back up along the way. We all have moments of feeling tired or worn down or overwhelmed. May these words be like the many conversations I have had with these two friends. May they remind you that you carry everything you need to walk through the very season that you are in. May they remind you that joy is one of the greatest gifts we can carry with us. It's a strength that lifts and lightens us in the middle of days that are almost always both good and challenging. I think we all hope to live a generous life that matters to those around us. And while there are plenty of ways to do that, I can't think of anything better to bring than joy. I can't think of anything more necessary or needed in these very days than hope. So I hope that the unshaken hope, the courage, the sunshiny joy of these two friends of mine rub off on you as you read these words that they have shared. May this book meet you right where you are and lift you back up a little. This is what they have both done for me in so many moments, and I know their words can do the very same for you. Introducing Tanya. My name is Tanya, and I am a modern woman. I march to the beat of my own drum. I am annoyingly optimistic. I give people the benefit of the doubt. I sing out loud when I go on my runs. Yes, I'm that person. I watch rom-coms on the daily. I'm a hopeful romantic and my relationships are everything to me. The top questions I am always asked are, how are you always so happy? And how do you stay so positive? Well, the truth is, I'm not always, but that can be our little secret. I try to keep it real, and I exude happiness and positivity by choice, and I'm able to maintain both because I am deeply rooted in my faith. In my 20s, I experienced a major heartbreak and felt enormous rejection. Little did I know I was being redirected to an even greater calling and destiny than the one I had imagined for myself. When I was laid off from my first job in radio, I doubted my abilities and felt terribly lost and hopeless. 
but a force much bigger than my own was pushing me out of a situation I now realize I would have never left on my own. I didn't know then that I was meant to be in a bigger city with a bigger platform. It's experiences like these that remind me there's always a plan, even when you can't see it. I've seen God work in beautiful ways in my life, and it's always changed me for the better from the inside out. My faith wasn't always this way. I was raised in the Serbian Orthodox Church. Being part of that church was more of a Sunday formality than an internal experience or connection. I didn't truly find my faith until I was in my early 20s. I hate to admit this, but that major heartbreak is what brought me to my knees and ultimately landed me in a Bible study. I'm a bleeding heart. I wear my soul on my sleeve. All I ever wanted in life was to get married and have babies. So when the one relationship I'd put all those expectations on came crashing down, I was left sleepless, hopeless, confused, weak, and majorly codependent on others. I didn't know who Tanya was, what she wanted in life, or even what she did for fun. I was a shell of a woman, and as hard as it is to admit, it took me feeling this low to become the strong, independent, self-sufficient, modern woman I am today. As I mentioned, this breakup left me on the floor. I was a cliche of a woman scorned. I went to too many parties. I was intimate with too many guys. I watched all the sad movies and ate way too much ice cream. Spoiler alert, none of it helped, not even a little. One day at work, I was crying in the hallway, which was a daily ritual for me at that point, when a friend of mine, Jason Kennedy, who was hosting for E! News at the time, saw me. He didn't know what was going on or why I was crying, but he came over to say that he was sorry for whatever I was going through and asked if I'd like to come to his Bible study that night. My mind raced. Bible study? He offered me Bible study? Not a good-looking single friend to set me up with, but Bible study? At that point, I had tried everything else, so I figured, why not give this a try? Plus, I was out of ice cream. So that night, I went to Bible study. I sat in the middle row, far to the left, and was moved to tears. It was as if the pastor knew exactly what to say to make me feel less alone. For the first time in months, I finally felt like myself again. One of the friends I met that night, Raquel Stevens, the co-author of this book, is like my sister now. She was happy, self-assured, secure, and deeply rooted, which I so desperately wanted to be. She was, and is, sunshine in human form. Little did I know that night she would be a rock in my life, helping me navigate personalities, egos, contracts, you name it. The entertainment industry is not for the faint of heart, and Raquel has talked me through every single argument, squabble, or moment of self-doubt I've had in my career while also helping me continue to shine my light. I hope the Sunshine Mind is a lifesaver for you. I hope it brings you steadiness. I pray it restores hope in your heart in the places where you may have lost it. I pray that this book and the Sunshine Mindset creates a beautiful community of people who want to live life through hope-colored glasses. Enjoy! Tanya. Introducing Raquel. I remember meeting Tanya Rad at her first night of Bible study like it was yesterday. Even though I had grown up in church, the Bible study Jason Kennedy had started was a special place for me. I had recently moved to L.A. from Chicago, and I was lonely. Shortly after moving, I had prayed. God, if LA is where I'm meant to be, I pray that I would make the best friends I've ever made in my life and that you would make it clear to me or I'm moving back to Chicago. I gave myself a one-year timeline and a few months after I said that prayer, I walked into Bible study and met Tanya. I instantly knew she was one of those friends I had prayed for. After we met, we made plans for lunch and it was then that she opened up about the challenges she was having at work people saying she was too positive, too nice, and that she would never make it in this industry because people never get to the top being that way. My advice to her was to keep being herself because that's exactly why God had given her that position, to spread her light and positivity, to be different in an industry that can sometimes be toxic. Through our friendship and our shared spirituality, no matter how hard life got, 
Tanya always stay true to who she is, and that is something I admire and respect. Now, after almost nine years of friendship, I have seen her year after year continually choose the high road, and I am so proud of the woman she has become. The light she gives out on television, the radio, her podcast, and social media is truly remarkable. I believe God has honored her efforts to stay true to herself because that's exactly who he created her to be, and I'm so grateful to be her friend. When Tanya approached me about writing this book together, I thought of how beautiful it is that our faith journeys have led us both here. As we were coming up with the title for this book, something that resonated with both of us was the word sunshine. With both of us being eternal optimists, people often assume life is easy for us, that we wake up happy every morning. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Like everyone else, we face challenges and hard times, which affect us deeply. I truly love God, love life, and love people. My greatest desire has always been, and will always be, to spread God's love to people, and in return to see people live free. Most of all, I want to help you shine to your fullest potential. I am truly honored that you've picked up the sunshine mind, and it's my hope and prayer that you will find freedom, love, and light in the best thing I have ever known and will ever know, a relationship with God. Raquel